Let me tell you what happened. Are you ready? Can I first of all just give you a compliment? Everybody's sitting up nice and tall. You're looking straight up here. I even see smiles on your faces. This is a really nice group. I'm excited to work with you. We're going to do an activity right now. And this activity is um, reading this article right here in front of us. Now everyone look at me and say, why is this important? Why is this important? Okay. Do you see how you're getting older, right? Well, when you go on the computer and you want to find information, guess what comes up? Is it just going to be a couple of lines or is it going to usually be articles that you read? Articles. Yeah, right away you know that, right? So I'm going to show you the way high school kids read articles. Are you ready? Okay, look at your paper right there. And what does it say? It says what? Bugging out. Bugging out. Right away when you look at something, you need to ask yourself, is this a story like James and the Giant Peach? Or is this information? Information. Information. Okay, so everyone go like this. Stand up. Make sure you have nothing in your hand so you're looking straight up at me. And then we're going to do this. In your head, you need to identify the important parts of information. What are you going to do, everybody? Identify the important parts of information. Okay, so when I see it's information, right away I'm going to do this. Everyone go like this, say, big idea. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're going to call it the main idea. Ready, everyone? Go. Main idea. What is the main idea? Is that just anything or is that what all the information is about? It's all the information is about. Let's do it. Ready, everyone? Go. Main idea. That's what all the information is about. What? That's what all the information is about. Then once you have the main idea, what do you need, everybody? Information, information, information. What do you need? Information, information, information. information. About anything or about the main idea? About the main idea. Okay, so let's do that. Ready? Everyone go. Main idea. Main idea. Now I need information, information. Information. About what? About the main idea. Ah, take a seat. So now, when I'm reading and I make notes, again, look how people are looking straight up here. I love this group. I'm going to, first of all, use a light bulb here because that's going to stand for my main idea. What's it going to stand for? My main idea. So that's what we're going to find out first. I'm going to have to take notes on that. And then once I find the main idea, what am I going to look for, everybody? Information, information, information about what? Idea. Okay, now, before we go any further though, you're going to be reading right now. And when you read, you're going to be coming upon some higher level words. You guys notice that you're getting really long words now? So let me show you what you're going to do. I'm going to show you some of these words that are going to be in your paper. And when you read these words, what I've done, first of all, is I've just showed you how your eyes could squeeze these words together. So do you see how you're looking up at the board right now? Do you see that? And you're going to make your eyes glue these chunks of letters together because they're longer words. Let me look at this word first of all. Everyone read that one. Buggy. Now watch. Buggy. Say the whole word. Buggy. Say the whole word. Say it fast. Sleepovers. Oh, look at that. You saw the S at the end, didn't you? Okay, do the next one. Insects. Insects. Oh, do you see how your eyes are right up here? Oh, look how your eyes are right up here. Crawled. Now, let's see. Crawled. Crawled or crawled? Crawl. Which one sounds right? Crawl. Read it again. Crawl. May. Major. What's the word? Major. Wow, you guys are pretty good at this, aren't you? Let's do another one. Say it again. Read this one first. What's that say? Pest. 
Pest. Now look at this. If I know this word, what's this word right here, guys? So there's my bossy E, huh? So go back and say it again. What am I going to say over here? Pest. I. Peste. Sides. Say it again now. Pesticides. And what is that bossy E doing? He's yelling at I to say its name. Say it again. Pesticides. Prevention. Now we're going to read it where you're just going to read the words without the letters glued together. Are you ready, my friends? Okay. You know what? I can tell that it's hard to see right there, so come on over here and let's do it again. Ready? Come on over here and just stand right here. Because I know you're far away. It's hard to see there, right? Yeah, I, I can tell. Glasses. You need glasses to see? Are your glasses at school? Okay. I lost them. You lost them? Okay. So you're going to just be looking right here then. Can you see up on the board then? Are you fine? Okay, go ahead and take a seat. I'm going to let you sit right here. All right, you ready, guys? Let's do it again. Go. <gasps> wow! That was good. Accordion. Accordion. Now read it again. According. Now say it fast. According. According. Ooh, I love it. I love how you're chunking the words. Do it again. Complain. Now say it fast. Complain. Let's see. Company. Com Love it. Patterses. Trouble. Pests. Why do you know it's not SIDS and it's SIDES? What's telling you that it's I? The E. Let's read it again. Pesticides. Say it again. Kim. Ichol. Say it again. Prevention. Okay, I'm going to go through one more time. Go, fast. Let's read that again. <coughs> I bet you know this word. Read this one right here. Ready? Read that. Prevention. Say the word. Prevent. Prevent. And then what's at the end? Shine. Say it again now. Prevention. I love how you're reading it. Okay. Now I'm just going to have you read to your buddies. Read these words on your own. Ready? And you know what? You can come on over and stand here with your buddy and stand there. Ready? Set. Go. Read all those words. Go. What was the last one? What's the last one? Ooh, I love how you're bunching those letters together. Give me the twine. Woohoo! Okay, back to your seats. All right, are we ready? All right. Those were some long words. Are you going to see those words when we read? Yes. You're going to know how to chunk them when we read? Yes. All right, my friends. Now we're going to go back to the article. Tell me what we're looking for first of all. The what, everybody? Main idea. Stop being so fast. I thought I was going to have to remind you. You're like main idea. When we're finished with the main idea, what are you going to be looking for? Details. 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 About what? The main, the main idea. idea. All right. Let's go on. Now, let's figure out how to find the main idea. Now, my friend, are you going to need to stand here so that you can see me do this? Get over here. Are you ready, my friends? Okay. Now watch. Touch the title. You do it. Touch the title. Okay. Now, I want you to see, are there any headings or is it just really like words here? Underneath it. But what do you notice about the first line? Does it look like all the other words? So touch the next, the first line. Does it look like all the other words? What's different about that line? Tell the people at your table, what is it, what's different about it? What have they done with those words? 
Do they look just like these? No. Why does it look different? They, uh, I forgot the word. Darker? Blacker. Everyone say blacker. Everyone say bold. Bold. What's bold print? When it's light or dark print? Dark, 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 dark. So, right there, when they give you that sentence underneath the title, when it's bold, what do you think that sentence is? Details or the main idea? Details. Let's see. I have my title. Everyone go title. 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 And then everyone say bold sentence. Bold, bold sentence. And then all these other sentences that aren't bold. Which one would you be reading that would be the main idea? The bold. The bold. Get out your pencil, get out your highlighter. What am I going to highlight? I want to find the main idea. What am I going to highlight? Point to it. Don't highlight it yet. Point to it. Wow, you're fast. Why? Why? Oh, I love how you're just like, whoop. Why are you going to be highlighting that? Why is it telling you that that's important? What did they do? Because it's the title, and then why are you going to highlight that sentence also? Because it also tells us like what the title, like it's going to tell us a little part about the title. But what, what is it, why does it look different than the other ones? Because it's bold. It's bold? And when it's bold, what is that telling you? It's the? Main idea. Main idea. Oh my goodness. Why? Because, are there any other bold stuff here? No. no. So is that the only one? Yes. Okay, so everyone, watch me. Title, oh look, they gave me a bold sentence right at the beginning. So right away I know that's what? Oh. Highlight the title. Highlight the bold sentence. Make with your highlighter a little light bulb there so you know that's my main idea. Now we're going to be reading the title and the main idea. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let me show you what it looks like when you read. Remember I said this is what high school kids do? Can I just tell you that I saw people do things that high school kids do? Right away I saw people highlighting, put their pencil down, and they're looking right up here. Were people taking a long time? No. Put your hand up here and go, that's embarrassing. I know, we would never take a long time because this is fast and quick, huh? Okay, are you ready? Let's read the title, Bugging Out. Ready, go. Bugging, Bugging Out. Now, you want to see what high school kids do? Okay, go like this. You're going to act it out. Bugging Out. What would I do for Bugging Out? Bugging Out? Okay, ready? Everyone show me. Go. Bugging Out. Now, let's read the first line. Ready? Bed bugs. Bed, bed bugs. What are bed bugs? Do they give you a picture? Yes. So right away, I'm going to look at that. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. What is that? It's a bed bug. And why are they called bed bugs? Where do you find them? In the bed. Let's go into a bed. Ready? Oh boy, I hope I have a bunch of bed bugs here. Is that what I'm thinking? <laughs> why are they calling it bugging out? Because they're Love it! So they're in your bed, bed, bed bugs in your bed, and they're nasty. Let's read the rest of the, so the, rest of the sentence. Ready? Everyone say bed bugs. Ready? Go. Bed bugs are on the rise in the United States. Where's the United States? Right here. Let's do it. Ready? Then go. Let make a bed. Bed bugs are on the rise. What does that mean? <coughs> Rising. So show me what rise looks like. So what does that mean if their bed bugs are on the rise? Kind of like, you feel like a rise. Could be floating. <laughs> They're on the rise in the United States. So go back. You're in bed. And they're saying bed bugs are on the rise. What do they mean by that? <coughs> Tell the people at your table. What do they think that they mean? Okay, let's go back. Who or what are they telling us about, everybody? Bed, bed, bed bugs. Okay, I'm going to make that gross bed bug. And where do you...
What are you pointing at that's making you go, ooh? Yeah, right there. Okay, let's highlight the first sentence. Ooh, I see the I see a bold word. Oh my gosh. Do I need to read that sentence with it? Yep. yep. Go to the next one. Now look over here. What is that? Yeah. And that's a, everyone go, heading. heading. That tells me what's in this section. What does it tell you? What's in that? Section. Okay, let's highlight that heading. And what does it say? Super? Sniffers. And what are super sniffers? They're like cockroaches, but they <coughs> sniff a lot of stuff to contract. I don't know. You know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to highlight the first sentence of each one of these paragraphs. And we'll see if we need to read more. And that's it. So highlight the first sentence of each one of those. You got it. Keep going. Nice. Very good. Okay, go back to the beginning. We're going to now take our pencils, okay, and we're going to write a number one next to this sentence. What number? One. Now, guys, over here, I'm going to go over here where I have the next paragraph. What number am I going to write? Two. Write a two. The next one, what am I writing? Three. You got it. What's here? Okay, keep numbering. Circle super sniffers. You're heading. What number is this? Nine. What's this? Ten. And what's this? Eleven. Eleven. How fast people are doing this. I love it. So when I look at this article, right away I know, oh look, the title and this dark sentence. And what do we call it when it's dark? Bold. The bold sentence is what everybody? The? Bold. And what does that tell us when it's the bold? And then what are all these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What are all those? Details, 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 details about what? The main idea. Yeah. So all those details are going to tell us about? The main idea. Bed bugs. And how they are? Multiplying. Okay, let's go ahead and let's read the, we already read this first line, and what is it telling us that where are all these bed bugs multiplying? In the United States. Should I put that right here? Maybe I'll put the... United States, like a big United States here. That's the United States. Oh, Florida's going to be mad that I missed them. Texas is going to be like, hey, we're bigger, but that's okay. And the USA. All right, we're going to put the number one here. Let's find out information about why these bed bugs are multiplying. Look at me, I'm already scratching myself. Isn't it gross? I know. Okay, you ready? Let's read that first line right here where your number one is. Let's read it. And what are we looking for? Why they are... Multiplying. We need to hear about bed bugs, why they're multiplying. Ready? Let's read that line. Go. Sleepovers aren't as fun as they used to be. Is that telling us why they're multiplying or about bed bugs yet? So what do I need to do? Everyone say, read on. Read on. Okay, read the next line. Or at least they aren't in New York, New York. Is that telling me so far about bed bugs? No. What do I need to do? Read on. Read on. Okay, ready? Go. That's because bed bugs are the. Guess. Where are they? Guess. In the United States. In the United States. Where in the United States? Where are you going to find them? In their beds. In beds. And let's read. Is that telling us any more though about bed bugs, or do I need to read on? Okay, let's read the last line. Ready? Go. Bed bugs are tiny insects that feed on blood. Is that telling me about bed bugs? Yes. All right. Go now. I'm going to go to number one. Who or what were they telling me about? And what are they? Show me. And what do they do? 
So good. Ooh, so what, if, where do you find them? So what should I have them sucking blood on? Whose blood are they sucking? Oh, what should I draw? Which arm or leg? Arm. Arm? Okay, let me put an arm here. And there they are, sucking on the blood. Oh, that sounds like fun. Does it remind you of anything else in the world that does that? What other insects do that? Tell the people at your table. What else? Oh, bats do that. What else? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Which one's closer to a bed bug? Spiders. And do you feel them? Yes. Okay, what if you're sleeping? Would you know the spider crawled on you? No. Sometimes if you're in a deep sleep, huh? What about mosquitoes? Would you know sometimes if you were sleeping? No. And what about bed bugs? Yes. Would you know if they were crawling if you were sleeping? No. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go to number two. Put it, I'm going to put a number two there. Are you ready? Put your finger where number two is. Let's read it. Ready, guys? Go. The critters, who, who, who do they mean by the critters? What are the critters? Oh, you guys are so good. Can we do something right now? Let's put a happy face on critters. And let's say, good job, author. Yeah, they're not just saying bed bugs, bed bugs, bed bugs, are they? Because woo, 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 redundant, please, redundant, please. Good writers don't keep using the same important words. Why isn't he saying bed bugs, bed bugs? Does it sound better when you change different words? Yes. So what word did he use? And what would you call that, a pronoun or a synonym? A synonym. Synonym, another word that means what? Critters is another word that is going to, and what do they want that to mean? Bed bugs. I love it. Look how you're doing that. Let's go back and read it. Ready? Go. The critters have crawled into the Big Apple and other cities. What do you think they mean by Big Apple? New York City. So, where are we talking about, everybody? New York City. Guys, can I just put NYC? Is that okay for New York City? Are you okay with that? All right, let's read that line one more time. Ready, go. The critters have crawled into the Big Apple and other cities. Should I only put New York City? No. What should I put here? Big Apple. What do they call the Big Apple? That's known as? New York City. New York City, the Big Apple. That's like a little, little fun name they give it, like a nickname, huh? Is it only in New York City? No. Where? United States. Oh, in the United States. And where in the United States? In the country or cities? Cities. What do you think? What's, what do you think in the cities where you would find all these bed bugs? On the street? No. Where? In the beds. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. Some bed bugs will be in the street because maybe they're throwing away beds. Ooh, I love how you think. Where are they going to bug you, though? Where are they going to get you? In your bed. All right, let's read the next line. Go to number three. Everyone, point to three. Go. The adult bugs are the size of apple seeds. Okay, so now, is that telling us about bed bugs? And how big are they? Show me what an apple seed looks like. Show me the size. Ooh, so we're going to put like a little apple seed. That's the size of them. Why does that matter if they're really hard to see? Why does that matter? Tell the person next to you why. And where are you sleeping? In your bed. And if they're really small, are you going to find them? No, they'll be sneaky. Ooh, you think they sneak? Did you know that we have bugs in our body that help us? But are we talking about that right now, though? These are bugs. Do they help us or not help us? I love how right away you're thinking, oh, I only can think about bugs that don't help us. So right away you were telling me about a... Spider. Spider. What else are bugs that don't help us? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, yeah. They bite us. They bite, you know, spiders are helpful, but do I want them to bite me no. and take my blood? No. no. Okay. Let's go to number four. Go to number four so far. All right. Let's read it. Ready, everyone? Go. The insects can live in mattresses and couches. Is that telling me about how they're multiplying? Is that telling me about bed bugs? Okay, where do they live? Okay, so I'm going to put that, like, here's a mattress and here's a couch. Is that okay? Yes. So, ooh, or furniture. Okay, put it, let me put a number five. Let's read it. Ready, everyone? Touch number five. Touch number five. Quickly. 
those bumps are popping up all over. Is that telling me? What bumps are popping up all over? Is that telling me anything or do I need to read on? Read on. Let's read on. Ready? Go ahead. Put your finger right there. About 95% of the United States pest control companies reported battling bed bugs in the past year. Is that telling me about the bed bugs? Yes. <coughs> Who is battling bed bugs? The United, United States. States. Go back and read that sentence again. Ready? Let's. Ready? Let's read it go. About 95% of the United States pest control companies reported battling bed bugs in the past year. Okay, scoot up, um, stand up, and I'm going to show you what you should be doing in your head. You ready? We're going to act this out. Everyone, let's read that first chunk. Ready? Go. About 95%. Okay, stop. 95%. So show me 100%. Just show me 100% of something. Make a circle. How much is 95%? Just a little tiny amount or most of it? Most of it. Okay, then show me most of the circle then. Just make it a little bit smaller. Ready? Go. About 95% of U.S. pest control companies. So what would a pest control company be? Show me the motion. Ooh, and what do pest control companies do? They, they, they kill, kill, kill bed bugs. All right, let's do it. Ready, go. About 95% of pest.